chilies. Hey, did they send out the bloodhounds yet? Hey, no, no, no. For once, one of my plans actually seems to be working. Did you get the airport okay? Yeah, I, I chickened out. I took a cab instead of a bus. That way, when I when I checked in, if someone got bumped, it wouldn't be me. Which reminds me, that's another reason why I'm mad at my parents. Why'd they make me take French instead of Spanish? And you wanted to take French, even though Lucky told you not to. Oh. Well, that's okay. Juan will take care of me. Yeah, but you have to find him first. Well, besides, Juan says that practically everything in Puerto Rico is both in Spanish and in English. Almost. Emily, are you sure this is a good idea? I mean, I know it sounds all romantic and everything, but... You're afraid that my parents are going to kill you when they find out I wasn't at your house this weekend, right? Look, don't worry about it. They're just going to think that I lied. And when your grandmother gets home, just tell her I never showed up. No, I am not worried about me. I'm worried about you. But I still think it sounds great. Wish me luck. Hey, don't talk to any strangers. I won't be able to, remember? Call me when you get there, okay? Bye. Guess who's back? What do you think you're doing? Okay, so you're not happy to see me. Uh, Emily will be. Could you call her and get her down here? No, 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 no. You're, you're supposed to be in Puerto Rico. I couldn't stay there, okay? I, I, I had to come back to see. Look, I don't need you to understand. I just need you to call Emily, please. She's not home. She's on her way to see you. She, she in? Yes. She? Yes. But I told her I was going to come back here. Well, forgive her for thinking she wouldn't hold you to it. You know what? She just called from the airport. She still has to be there. Port Charles? The airport. Passenger Emily Porterman, please pick up the white courtesy phone. Passenger Emily Porterman, to the white courtesy phone, please. Flight 1193 to San Juan, Puerto Rico is now boarding at gate 19. Flight 1193 to San Juan, Puerto Rico is now boarding at gate 19. Somewhere? I don't care. I know that Mom sent you, but I'm going to Puerto Rico. Nobody listens to me or cares how I feel, which isn't surprising, except for you. Jason, you've been in love before, and you never cared what anyone said about you and Robin, and, and I respected that. Yeah, you were older, but so what? And don't say that I'm not feeling what I'm feeling, because that is so and, condescending. And if you want to get on that plane, you go right ahead. But Juan won't be there. What, are you so positive that he already has another girlfriend? What, that, that someone like me, that he could never like someone like me? No. Good. Because you cannot make me not believe in him. Okay, he likes me. Uh, not for any specific reason. I mean, I didn't get him a job, I didn't get him money, nothing like that. But he likes me, and I, I don't know why. I'm, I'm going. You're missing something. What, where? Puerto Rico is now boarding at gate 19. Flight 1193. San Juan, Puerto Rico, is now boarding at gate 19. <sighs> I mean, don't you know there are crazy people on planes? Some, someone could have picked you up or something. You're the one that's crazy. <laughs> Didn't I tell you I was coming back? Yeah, but how was I supposed to know when? Well, you don't trust me now? Of course I trust you, but I didn't know when. And if you would have come to my house looking like this, I would have had to run away anyway. It was just a disguise. I mean, I, I didn't want to look too beautiful. Guess what? You fail. You look like you just ate something really rank. Why did she have to pick him? Oh, come on, Juan's not that bad once you get to know him. He's not. Anyway, I don't know who picked who or if anybody even gets to pick somebody in this situation. It just kind of happens. Well, you're on my list, too, you know. 
I take it you don't mean your Christmas list. Elizabeth, you were helping her run off to Puerto Rico. Oh, you make it sound so dramatic. Well, it is Puerto Rico. You can't walk there. You're covering for her. You're providing the alibi. Okay, okay, okay. I was worried about her, too. I just thought it was for a good cause. And besides, you're not really that upset, or you just would have called Dr. Cordemain instead of hopping in your little coffee truck and bringing us over here. No, I, I didn't say. I think uh, Emily should be chained to a post in the front yard. I just asked, why did she have to pick him? Elizabeth, thank you. For what? My plan was almost a disaster. For finding one. Actually, he found me. And Jason, thank you for driving them. Uh, yeah, thanks. You're welcome, I guess. Can we go now? Actually, I, I just need one more favor. Um, considering, you know, that Juan did run away from home, more or less, Right. Um, well, Bobby's not gonna let him stay in his old room at Kelly's for number one. And number two, that's the first place that his father's gonna check. Yeah, he should be calling if he hasn't already. Right, um, well, Juan's gonna kind of, you know, need somewhere to stay, like, um, a safe house. A what? Can Juan stay with you? Jason, he's going to need to be someplace where nobody can find him. Says who? Wants father's wants problem. That's right. Please, Jason. Look, forget about it. Emily. Emily, see, the thing is, I don't want Juan where I can find him. Not where I live, not where I work, and not where Sonny lives or works either. Now, here we go. You going to run to Sonny and tell him that the pain in the butt from Puerto Rico is back? You know, while you're there, why don't you tell him me being here has nothing to do with him? I don't want a job. I don't want a room. I don't even want a phone call. Great, then we should have no problem. That's right. Unless you make trouble for Emily. Look, I don't know why everyone keeps talking about problems. I mean, there aren't any, right? You know what? My grandma's out of town. You can stay in our extra bedroom tonight. There. See, it's it solved. I told you it would work out. Yeah, I'll get the truck. Meet me out front. Liv, I think that you should go with him. He listens to you. He does? Well, no, he doesn't listen to you, but he likes you. Okay. So how long am I going to be in the doghouse? Doghouse? With you. You know, for the part I play in your sister's not quite grayscape. See, I don't, I don't get mad at people who want good things for Emily. Oh, then that would include Juan? Okay, I won't push it. But thank you for riding to our rescue. Driving to our rescue. You know, just, just keep telling me I rescued Emily, not Juan. <laughs> See you later. Bye.